Hello everyone! Welcome back to Enshrouded. I just rolled off the top of my house. When I, um, my, my keybind for turning on my OBS, or starting recording, is unfortunately the same as this, as, um, as forward roll. <laughs> okay, so first of all, my apologies. I did miss a little bit of, um, gameplay. Um... I started to play, and about five minutes later, I became so sick to my uh, myself, just so ill, that I just basically turned off the game and went to bed. Um, so in that time, I went over here and I cut down a tree. He, um, yeah, there wasn't much to it. We're going to go over this way and see if we can see what's over here. Looks like it's going to be another shroud route. And we'll look around up around here. See what this, what else is about. We do still need to find the alchemist friend. We just found our hunter friend, but she can't do anything for us at the moment because we don't have salt. I should, um, eat. uh, I've got food. I've got a food buff. Into the shroud. Is it is that sailing? I mean, that seems like a good place to look for salt. Let's go and actually just take a look around here. Maybe we can find some salt on the ground or from some enemies. Run, run. What were these? The level three enemies, I think. So not too dangerous. But not not um trivial. We weren't getting hit for very much damage except for from level 5 enemies. There are a bunch of them now. Uh, I don't have a ranged weapon equipped. Okay. Hello, guys. do have a range weapon, I just need to equip it. There. There's no salt here. I feel like I've been lied to. Maybe it's down in the mines. Frozen core wand. So it's not a better ice wand. Do I have to hit this? Like, is this normal rubble or is this like something special? Let me see if I. Hey, that's why. That's why I like. Wow, that's a lot of salt. So how much did we get from that? We got 55. I'll, I'll take maybe four stacks if I can. Is there more? I haven't really been looking around, but did I see 
the same type of structure as this it? No, that's just stone. That, that stood out to me as being weird, but maybe I've been walking past it this entire time. I have been. Yeah. There, get some water. We're at 108. It's fast collecting. Like, when we had some... It was kind of annoying having to go for the metal scraps because you had to kill an enemy for every, like, metal scrap. Like, you kill three enemies to get two. About, I felt like. But this is decent. Not quite four stacks. There we go. That's fine. Now we gotta keep in mind that we are in Shroud and we just used up a lot of time. These guys kind of remind me of the um, the dudes in Elden Ring, in the underground waterways, like they're clay people. I didn't mean to collect that. But that's fine. Let's see if we can get out of here. Get a breath of fresh air. All right. Well, one goal accomplished. We got a bunch of salt. I should I should loot that guy. The whole idea is you use the salt on on uh, animal fur, right? Where was it? Uh. There it is. All right, so that was not what I intended, but it was successful. There's a tree. That's right out in the open. Whoa. I'm not like seeing any bosses around it or anything. But there is a lot of red down there. Which makes me nervous. What do we got? Nothing. Still surrounded by red. And that's like almost instant death. It's like lava. Oh, so I can get across that way? Okay, okay, guys. Go Oh my god! I feel cheated. Like, they, they... 
The game made me spring forward when I pushed the button. I swear I didn't do it myself. Okay, oh. Uh, water. Meat. Fruit, or vegetables. I'm going to wait for stamina a little bit. Alright, let's try that again. This time without getting killed by weak ass little level one monsters. Critters. They're on level five, so I guess it's not they're not nothing. But they're embarrassing to have died to. <laughs> All right. Where are we? This is Morwenna. I mean, have I been here before? The name sounds kind of familiar. Maybe. What are you doing? He's like licking his wounds or something. Uh, this looks kind of familiar. I think I have been here. Okay, well, we're going to continue and go towards this. Wait a minute. Ancient Vault Carpenter. Okay. Surprising that it would give me the name when I haven't actually explored it yet, but that's okay. Dead. I definitely remember this structure, but I think we've seen this like in several places before. So I don't know if I've seen this one in particular. There is some red there and down here. Uh 
Oh, I thought I was good. <laughs> oh, please don't put me all the way back home. I bet it will. Yep. Maybe I should build another flame place, like right around here. Or something. Sigh. Okay. Um... I guess I could drop off some stuff. Even though we dropped most of our things. But we still have a few. I can just delete this. Alright. My apologies for having to see this over and over again. One bad jump, you know? Uh, we don't have a lot of stamina. I'm just going to go around it rather than through the salt mine again. I've tried to go in there and the doors don't open. Like, I thought maybe we could fall down to it from on top. Maybe I'll try that in the future again. It's not map markered. I think we're getting towards night. All right, once more. This time with feeling. So the root's gone. Do we have respawned these creatures? No. Did I not get this? Last time? No, I did. I probably just closed. Alright, Morwenna with the wolves. There should be like a flame shrine or something around. Maybe maybe just to the north. There, there's one. So we're going to go and touch that before we go get our body back so that when we die next time, we'll have to start here. You know, so far, we have not died to enemies. We have died to gravity and we've died to landing in lava. And that's it. Maybe I'm planning on too easy a difficulty. All right, go get our body first. My it got dark. I bet in Morwenna there's a bed or at that carpenter camp. I'm going to sleep till morning. There we are. 
No, not not sleepable. Ah, this will do. We're not getting any bonuses for uh it's it's cold. But that's okay. I just wanted to get it to be daylight. Ah, well, I'll check that chest. Why not? It's weird. Like, the, I, I find the way that chests regenerate and things like that to be a little unusual. It seems like it's not the type of... It's not the, I don't know. There's two types of games. There's games where they get where they do that, and games where they don't. And this feels more like a game where they don't do that. But apparently, I am mistaken. Wolf thing? No. Just a little rabbit. All right. So I got that. I'm going. Way over there. So I went the wrong direction from Marwenna. Where'd that one come from? No hides. Come on. This kind of looks like something. Maybe. It's is it salt? Yeah, it's it's a salt thing. Never mind. How do I get back up? This is where we died last time. Trying to get across here. Uh, to the... <coughs> Excuse me. It seemed like there was a better way to the north. There's like a, um, a rock passage. Stone passage. Bridge. C constructed thingy. That. All right, we're on the clock. Heavy shroud. I can't see a thing. Okay, it's a little better now. Ooh. Okay. I'm in combat. Who's shooting at me? I saw someone right there. Ooh, level seven enemies. Okay, okay. To be fair, yes, they do quite a bit of damage. Oh my god. Game. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, maybe my whole thing about how we haven't died um, to actual enemies yet is going to come to a quick close. Now there was another dude. There was a guy with a bow. Somewhere around here. Where are you? Yeah, there he is. I thought there was one on that side too. I could be wrong. Maybe I didn't see it right. So this vault is completely enshrouded. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Like it's the the I mean it's it's covering this area. Hmm. That's a lot of critters. Oh dear. The issue with these is they attack quick and they swarm. And they regen. Oh my god, how am I dying? Okay, where are they responding from here? Okay, that's one. And right there. Where? I don't see it. Ah! They're like under the ground. Okay, just a moment. <laughs> oh! There is another archer out there. And wow, we have used up that axe. Okay, are there more? Is this? No. I think that might be all the spawners.
I say running immediately into another one. Hello. Funny you came here. It's above me, but do I have to go down to get up? Like, that looks like a new enemy type. It's like floating. I'm not even supposed to be here. We don't have enough time. I'm gonna leave. We probably could deal with it, but why take the risk? Alright. So, we're not going that way yet. We could go up here. We got that. I don't know if we ever got this. That's a ring of rot. Hmm. It's weird you can see the name. There's another root down over there. There's the salt mine that they were telling, trying to get me to go to. Okay, I think I'm gonna bail. I'm just gonna leave this place, and we're going. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Um, like that's really close to there. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was visible, but there was like a flying dude in the back. Looked like a, uh, I don't know, like a, a wraith or something. Um, where am I going? East. So that right there ahead of me is the carpenter place. And we went there. Doing just what we're doing now. But I think we're going to be stopping short of that. Right? That's the flint mine. And this thing is obviously down that way more. So I'll stay up on top, but they don't... But they want me to go down there. Yeah, location below. One of us not a route? Do I have another weapon? Uh, no. Not really. Yes, I have this Executioner Axe. So, it's a slow one, but... My food buffs are running low. Can I... Replenish early? I can. Good. Uh, this feels sketchy as we're gonna have trouble getting out of the shroud down there. Oh, never mind. Whoa. <laughs> well, I have to get back up now. Um, I think I actually went through this area before. I think going north would be better. I assumed it was much further down than just right there. I haven't looked at my skill points in a while. I really probably should. Well, that's like how you grow in this game. 
you don't like get benefits just from leveling. You have to spend points on skills. And we've kind of been wasteful. We spent our points in a double jump. <laughs> what is this? Uh, we're, we're still too low, but I'm going to see what this house is. Hello, wolf. What level are you? Three. And finally, we got an animal fur. Which is what we've been hoping to get all this time. Do I hear a rat or something? Something skittering about? Spider! So this looks like I can get up this way. This like this this ridge I right hear seems like I might be a trouble, but we'll take a look. That's where we're talking. Look, looks traversable. With some you know skyrimming about perhaps. All right, so it's right there. Let's see if we can be a bit more careful getting down to it. Uh, I think I have to just go take a just wing for it. Okay. Unguarded! And to be fair, we've only seen one of these guarded so far, so. That might just be the way of things. Oh, they want me to follow this path up, not just jump down to it. Whoops. Okay. So we got that. That's the Hunter Vault. Hidden Tomb. They want me to go there next. There's lots of things around here. Why don't we go there? And I think we could just jump off this... Um, this pass. How's Mama doing in inventory? I've got some space left. Alright, where am I going? That, right there above my head. Looks like an ancient structure. Let's see if we can stay up on top. So that way it looks like there's snow like up in the mountains. I'm not I wonder if you can actually traverse your way up to that or if it's just, you know, a background. It might just be a background.
But if we do end up climbing a snowy mountain, I will appreciate it. Okay. Nothing going on here. Let's just continue on. Another tree down there, perhaps? Kind of feels like a tree area. Hello. Double three enemies. Metal dudes, maybe? Or more bear people? We'll see. I'm betting metal dudes. Metal dudes. What's this? Mud debuff? It was like sticking to me. <laughs> That's new. Maybe they're weak to blunt damage? Or maybe weak to ma magic damage? Certainly not to, not to uh, cutting damage. Oops. Normally the guys with the two sides have like a hood.
Oops. Uh, I meant to salvage that. For coin. Uh, that was interesting. Sprint up a ladder. No. All right, let's see what this place is about. It's not shrouded, but it's been broken into. Might have like a a boss metal guy. Luck. can deconstruct something this okay oops now I would not at all mind just replenishing a bunch of metal scrap because we have not had the opportunity to grab that you know we, we only get that from fighting these guys yeah, it's tedious to do. Okay. Wait. Ooh. Ring of Stamina. You know what? Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm going to wear that ring. What are we going to replace? So I've got the ring of the other guard, which is just plus plus max totals. I'm going to take, take the Regia instead. That looks pretty sturdy. Alright, now we go up. Okay. There's the thing. And there is a dude in front of it. But I think he's just a normal dude. You know, these are just normal, normal guys. Dude, don't walk away from me. Okay, there's still a way to go, but we're going to go ahead and get this while we're here. The Alchemist. A whole bunch of new recipes. And we were able to repair our good axe, the one we've been preferring. Let's see what it's above us. Okay. 
New quest, Powerful Alchemy. Mm, is this it? Oh. Oh well. No! That killed me? That was such a small fall. We've fallen so much more than that. Oh. I'm trying to be on the lookout for more of those buttons on walls that opened that little passage. I haven't seen any more, though. Just the one. All right. Let's not do any more gallivanting around. Let's actually just head home. We could go here. We should go there. It's so close. Oh. Uh, buffs. I don't have any more food. Okay, never mind. I guess I have I have water. There's a cave with metal people inside. What is this thing? Delayed explosive, right. Okay, that was not good. Any more? No. Just a treasure. Ooh! Our first legendary melee weapon. It's only level three. But it has both cutting, piercing, and blunt damage. Okay. Let me just make a spot for it. New lore page, Scavengers. So it's 14 damage compared to the 17 that this epic weapon has. But once we do unlock all these, I think it'll be better. Let me just take a look at it. 
I like it. I wish it was higher level. But what can you do? Lots of metal scraps, too. Across all these various things. Alright. No beds? How are you guys sleeping? Are you just sitting around? Waiting for the sun to come out? Oh, yeah. Dum, dum. No, da, 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 da. I really do need to look at my ability points. I'm going to at some point soon. Uh, is is it? It's this way? Is it on top? I have a worry. It's on top. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, there it is. Okay. You can usually just walk around during their telegraph. It seems. I bet we can get up there. It seems like we're going towards a point where we can get up. I mean, this ridge is too high. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe right here? Yeah. Okay. Is this so this sword is a light. That's the best part of it. It counts as a torch. <laughs> ah, lots of these undead dudes or shrouded people. I lost track of where we're going. We're going up, right? Uh. Uh. I don't know if we're going up here. But maybe we can get a good view from up here. No, we're not getting up there. 
We need to go over there. Oh, okay, we're on we're on the level with it now. Did I see a wolf? No. We would pretend to read them as children, but now the obelisks hide their truth. I was a fool for thinking I could find a solution to my problems here. No one hears my prayers, and I feel so tired. I wish you were by my side, brother. Forgive me, Vettel. In a world destined for ruin, humanity will fade, as all beings do. Their light will flicker and die, untouched by the eternal flame. Meaninglessness and minuscule in meaningless and minuscule in the face of near endless insight, burning brightly, turning to dust as we turn to fire, an endless cycle of ruin and turmoil. That's like kind of negative. What you got? Hey, boots. Rare they find armor. That's like super unusual. Whoa. And then the sun just comes right out. Okay. There is this thing right here. But that looks like it's in the middle of a shrouded area. Like there's this is a structure of some sort. We'll come back for that. I've been there. I think I've gotten both of these. I'm going to warp home. Well, wait a minute. What is that? It's not in the map as special, but it's it's an curiously square area. I kind of want to go check it out. Something I don't give enough credit to games um, with lock-on is just how naturally it locks on to the right enemy. In this game, it doesn't seem to. In this game, I think it locks on to whatever's like centermost in your screen, which is often something behind the enemy you're fighting, which can be a little annoying at times. That's the structure, right? The wooden structure we're seeing? The, the, the stone, the, the curiously square area. What is it? A tomb? That looks sketch. Okay. Um, we need to make some space. Let's drop these. I'm gonna need to make tough decisions in the future. Oh, it's this muddy stuff, yeah. want things ah I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm not gonna use this probably we have this staff that's that's a legendary or epic this is just common No, it's not 
happen. Oh, what's that? That's nothing. Is there a split in the path back here? I got this right. Ah. Uh, no, I didn't. This is a different one. Okay, and our reward is an alchemist ring. It's an interesting looking ring. We kind of have been going away from the pure stat route, instead favoring... Ow! Instead favoring regen, or stats... Okay, well that answered that question. Still no map marker. Let's go in this little cave here. I know, I know I should be warping home. I'm probably gonna get killed and then we're gonna have to run back and all sorts of things. My sword's almost broken. Let's swap those two. Is a creepy area. So dark, but with like nothing here. Now we can just leave those here. And I think this is it. There wasn't anything else. So let's warp home. No, not there. There. Things are going on. Another survivor awakened. The alchemist will prove helpful by crafting potions and healing tinctures. Hey, really? right now? You claim the wailing blade? I forged it for her grasp before she left me. Fine, you may wield it in her place. Pierce the shroud's heart, Flameborn. It's what my daughter would want. Okay. Um, I probably need to make some more storage. Because, like, we've been trying to get by on just these few. But we're already running into trouble. Okay, what would we need to make some more storage? Not using the nails, because I don't I just want to use these. 
So string and twigs. I haven't even checked. This shield is better than the one I'm using. Like, I picked this shield up off of a random corpse. And it's just like this horrible mess. Uh, da da da. What am I doing? Storage. Make two. Two tiny chests. I need to check those in a moment. Um, all right, I'm going to divide this chest, which is a combination of um, melee weapons and range weapons, into just melee weapons. And armor, apparently. Isn't that my axe that I use all the time? Except for that. Okay, we need to check that out. Okay. Fair enough. This can go away now, but not here. That would go in the other one. out that does the ring then put the club in I'm gonna keep that as a backup okay uh, this, how does that compare to mine? So mine are 10, 5. And give me one health regeneration. This gives me, this is a lot less, but it gives me stamina regen. Right, this is level 8. I think I need the re resistance over the stamina regen. Too bad. Okay. I don't. I don't need to carry torches anymore, probably, because I can. Well, I, I still. I still need it. It's. It's. Wi it's a wider range than this. Than this uh, sword. It's a nifty sword, though. Okay. The other thing I was gonna put would be things that I would normally put here, but are um, don't fit. Yeah, that kind of overflow. Okay. All right. Now we need to craft some new things We're using the stuff we just threw away. We just put in there. Uh, but first of all, let's grab our new person. Hey, it's Balthazar! We've been reading about you this entire time. Hey! Hi! Whoops. The birds sing sweetly. A good day. Hmm. Another set of hands would be useful to us if you're ever planning to expand. 
Yeah, I've already found it. You want more storage. I do too. We are specks of dust in a whirlwind of stars. Do you dare to reach out, wishing to grasp a piece of, of eternity? Perhaps obtaining a, an eternal spell. Oh, okay, so we have spell charges all the time now, but an eternal spell would us just cast forever, I guess. One was buried in an underground tomb alongside his dreadful master. Interesting. So... A new production place, these grinding stones. Flintstone and stone. Oh. I didn't I never I didn't think shroud cores would um be just a craftable item. <laughs> Let me just mark them all off. So the alchemist set, it's level eight. And it's all about magic. Oh, bone meal. That must be from the grinding. Extra mana. Yeah, it's all magic stuff. Which we don't use. We stab people. Need a mortar. Which is maybe something we get here at the Crying Stone? I don't know. All right, Flintstone and Stone for you. And what do you need? For your drying rack. Wood logs and string. Oh. Wood logs. Flintstone, Stone. String. That's all we needed. Hey. Hey. All right. So what do you need? Two recipes. Dried berries or dried fur. So we want to give you animal fur and salt. I don't need the berries. Animal fur and salt. There you go. 53 queued up. One for each of our fur. And we do have enough salt, only just barely. It's one to three. So that's going to get us a bunch of dried fur. I should probably check to see if the recipe I need if uh, requires the actual fur at all, or if, or if it's all dried fur. So we're talking about the scout set, which is again level eight. It's all stamina based, apparently, and extra range damage, which is not suitable for us. And it all needs dried fur. Alright. What about this thing? The grinder. So only one recipe for bone meal. Now I do know that we just needed bone for other things right there. Like, there were other uses for bone. I got four spark. I need five, right? 
I should go find our spark. Oh, I have some more salt here. Never mind. I did. I did get enough. All right. We'll put that back. That back. All right, and that's going to go for a bit. So our next upgrade needs five shroud cores, which we can make. That's what we just learned. This upgrade needs salt. Five sparks. We need one more spark. And the scavenger matron head. So that's the scavenger boss, and I haven't seen that one yet. I've been calling them metal dudes. But I guess they're called scavengers. Everything else we got. All right. So I'm just going to see if there's anything new going on over here. So if I were to make a better shield, it has seven block instead of one block. Five metal sheets, two logs. And we do have this set, right? We have this full set. Yeah. It's ugly. But that's okay. So, five sheets, two logs. We... Only have two. Okay, so uh, some metal scraps and uh, what else do we need? Charcoal, right? Just needs logs. I might have a bunch already, just sitting here. Ah, uh, no, we ran out of metal scraps. So, so uh, a bit of time till we have that ready. Here, just leave this here. Anything else I should be doing? You're making this wood acid, which I don't really need for much. I'll say make some more charcoal. Alright. Um, I wanted to check, I wanted to see the, what the requirements were for, like, why are these have number, have little things next to them? I don't know. Is it a quest? Do let me know if you need anything else. And you want me to find a farmer, which I want too also. And you want me to find the carpenter. I need to do this apparently. Probably, I need to actually do this. I need to go there. Read the obelisk in Nomad Highlands. Where's that? Oh, that's really far away. Okay, yeah, this, this game's a bit bigger than I thought. Okay, wow. The map, at least, is very big. Okay. I would like to make this so twigs, torn cloth, resin. Or should I get this one instead? Like it seems just maybe better. A very durable. And this is advanced. 
it's the same thing, just has wax on it. So I guess, yeah, let's go for the better one. There we go. And let's get rid of this. That's our new torch. You, sir. I still don't know how to get a mortar. Because it, well, it's not decorative. And I'm not seeing it like around here. Like, I'm looking to see, but it might be something I can already make somewhere else. At the workbench, perhaps? No. No. All right, ignore that. The shroud core needs shroud liquid. That's fine. You know, not the wrong thing. We need to cook some food anyway. So, might as well. <clears throat> what am I looking for? It's the water, the shroud water, right? This. And we're going to be short of it, and we're going to need to get more, which is fine. Because you need five, right? Flame. Yeah. That's fine. Let's just go grab some real quick. So it's this stuff, right? All these little bulbs. No. Okay. Huh. 
Now, do I want to make health potions? They need red mushrooms. I mean, yeah. I kind of... I think I do. Red mushrooms. We got a bunch of those. And more can be had if we need. Oh, did I get my fifth one? I did. Okay, good. Oh, down it just needs even more. But we haven't raised our flame to the next level, so we can't do it. We need more sparks. And the, the matron head. Okay, wait, before we do anything else, we, these have all been going for a while. They probably have some stuff for me now. Yeah, and new, new items. As we add into our inventory. Small backpack. Worth crafting one of everything, maybe? I wonder if that's what that means. Like, if I just craft one of these, it'll actually um, release more items. That's what that's what the little icon means, maybe? But I don't know where to get the mortar. I don't have one. Okay. So, small backpack. Eight slots. Nice. And... I'll go ahead and make a, a rug for you guys. Uh, you're all kind of squished in here. Nice. So again, it looks like there could be two more slots once we unlock them. Okay. Uh, rug. There we go. Now we're slightly more comfortable here. <laughs> Let's cook a little. Oops. Don't pressure me, man. I'm I'm busy. I'm cooking. Madam. <laughs> So, uh, we want to check the shield that um, they unlocked. Because we were about to make a new shield, but if there's a better one available, no reason to waste our time on the existing one. This would be better with music. <laughs> Alright, now first of all... I say first of all like I haven't been doing several things. Skills. So we have nine skill points we haven't been touching. Let's just see what we can potentially get. One additional food slot seems pretty powerful. When you're targeted by attack, wild animals will attack the enemy. That's interesting. So this is all about um, about range. You can draw and use your bow while gliding. Interesting. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So there's huge endpoints. 
So assassin apparently is about arrows. So this is all about spell casting. Be cool to get that. Interesting. I like this idea. All fell foes within 10 meters take one fire damage per intelligence per second. Like, that seems really cool. <laughs> wow. Like, you just have this aura. So this is if you're a fire guy. The wizard trait, wizard, wizard area. Shroud damage. Fallen to the enemies. Learning their ways. When you're killed, all allies receive a heal. I'm playing solo. Teleport. That's nifty. Interesting. Tanking. Very much tank abilities. <sighs> Easy. So we took the, um, we went right between the melee and the range side kinda all right let's see which path we want to go down first because we're gonna go we're gonna go red my parry does damage attack faster with two-handed hammers overpower faster one-handed so that seems like kind of where i'm going so probably this tree I probably should get the ones in the center, though. Boom. That's interesting. You get shroud time for killing enemies. <laughs> like, I think I might just want to just jet straight down this way. Probably be good to get this, though. Just some random... Well, they're on this part of the tree also. Uh, cutting, I think, we'll take... We're going to want all of them, eventually. And I'm out. So, for these, I think probably I should do this. Because we do, we do occasionally knock, um, overpower enemies. We just have, we don't have the ability to take advantage of it. All right. So we're probably much stronger than we were just a moment ago. Blacksmith, you just got 
a ward. That's a magic shield. That's a, okay. Blocking drain stamina. The parry power is... No? Why would I want to do this instead of... Just for virtue of it being a magic block? Probably looks pretty cool. I think I'm still going to go for this, this fighter shield. Okay. Uh, I need to cook this. The corn. Man, I want some corn all of a sudden. Like I'm, I'm, I'm hungry for it. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make some. I'm. I'm kind of not that hungry. Maybe I'll wait for tomorrow. And we'll have some corn. Okay. I don't have any more corn, unfortunately. I can grab some more berries. Though I barely use them anymore. In fact, I don't use them at all. I'm not going to carry them around. I'm going to carry health potions in that slot. This goes there. This is our backup weapon. I could use some more water. Logs go somewhere else. Okay. Um, let's get some coins. Buy some upgrades. So this turned out stronger, even though just because it has more of these enhancements compared to the the higher level epic one. Well, I guess I guess adding an attribute increases the level, so that that might be the the reason. It was it started out as three and five. But yeah, now this is just flat out better. All right, anything you can do? I, again, I, could I make this? I could, and I want to find out if that makes that go away. So let's do that. Shit, now, I don't know, remember what it was now. <laughs> it was resin, shroud wood, and something. Um, bone meal. Or was it Shroud Liquid? I think it was Shroud Wood. Uh, where's my Shroud Wood? Did I use it all up? I might have. 
Or maybe it's over here. No, there it is. Did I get the resin? I did. I don't think we have what we need, but we can we can take a look again. <laughs> uh bone meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the main thing. Alright. It, it made the little icon go away, but it didn't seem to help at all. Where is it? This. So it's a rare cane. Compared to the one we had already, which isn't here. Well, not very useful. Uh, would go here. Yeah, our existing cane was this one. No. This one. Root staff. So this is better. But I'm just I'm not being a wizard. Alright, I think we're finally done here. <laughs> My apologies for how long it took, takes us to do these random things. Um, actually, let's get some water. I think there's some right inside here. There's a well. Right? Where's the well? There it is. All right. So where now? Find the farmer. Which is way up north. We still haven't done that. That's the eternal spell way off that way. I kind of want to get like one of these shrines. Why don't we go that go, go do that? That will let us upgrade. Um, no, we won't. I mean, wow, these are really close. Let's just get that one. That's so close. I keep forgetting that I need the boss, the boss um, scavenger. keeps correcting my my camera it wants me to be looking forward more i want to be looking down stop correcting me game i know what i want there we go another spark <laughs> This doesn't feel right, but whatever. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> Alright, from where I am, is there anything in front of me, really? No, we could swing around like that, I guess. Like, that's the thing. Am I in combat? Did 
Dum, bum, bum, ba, da, da. I haven't eaten yet. Level seven enemies. I think that's probably a good reason to eat. We've had this issue before. Oh well. Level 7 enemies getting hurt. Hill of Scavengers. Is there a scavenger queen here? I haven't gotten an uh, overpower notification yet. Maybe I need to... I don't know. Maybe there's another way of approaching it. Okay. Rude. This looks fancy. <clears throat> nice mace. Good damage on it. <coughs> we are captive three days now. Weak, struggling with no food or water. This very well may be my last, t last testament. But the scavengers are creating new horrors that I cannot unsee. Scavenger queens who've grown fat with gluttony are turning the dark laboratory in this encampment on themselves by infusing massive amounts of elixir straight into their hearts. These gorgers will spit poison and lob vials of corrupted elixir at their prey. Avoid them at all costs. If I do not survive here, consider yourselves warned. Well, that's exactly what I need to know. I appreciate. <coughs> Excuse me. This looks so clean compared to everything else around here. Eh. Uh, I think I'd rather be up here. I mean, I see a health bar for a boss. Where is it? Yeah, I have no idea how parries work. Apparently. Gong! Boss fight? Boss fight! Okay, wait a minute. Wow! I got wrecked! I mean, I got wrecked! Just completely wrecked! I got one shot! <laughs> I think it might have been because I was just too close to her. And she like did something that was supposed to be like a, a spread out AoE attack. And we got hit by all of it. Well, that's our first death to enemies. Ooh, this is new. Tomatoes. Yeah. 
Okay, I haven't seen the tomatoes before. We've been eating corn all this time. Kind of what got me there was I was trying to switch targets and failing because I'm bad. And, um, yeah. And things just kind of went bad from there. Hello. Now, where was the other dude? He's not here. One nineteen, that's what hit me. We got hit by like three hits of that. That. A volley of some sort. She doesn't have a lot of health. She's just uh tanky. Not tanky. She's um glass cannony. That's what got us, I think. Or that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna stop worrying about it. We got. We got hit by many things at once, and it did several hits of 110. There we go. Improved grappling hook. Recipe unlocked. 239. We could have died from that explosion right there. We got her head. Nice. This was absolutely not what I was coming out here to do. It just kind of happened. Oh, come on. You didn't get hit by your own thing? Cheap. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of cheesing you, but to be fair. All right. Calm down, man. But he should have been taking damage from this, and he didn't. That seems unfair to me. Uh, where are you? There you are. Okay, wait. Well, we, so we came here because we were going to go there. Let's keep going towards there. Even though we can't... Oh, no. Wait a minute. We should do that. Yeah. Okay. We, we should... We should upgrade our world.
Let's see if I remember all the things. I don't remember all the things. So, salt. Cloth. Sparks. Wax. Resin. Shroud wood. Shroud liquid. Bone? I know one of them was tar. One of them might have been charcoal. But probably wasn't. Alright, let's see what we what we're missing. Flintstone. And it is charcoal. Okay. And I don't have flintstone here. I have to go I have to go mine some. These are some colorful looking trees. This because it's the border of our, our land. <laughs> Flintstone. Da, 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 da. Where can we get some Flintstone? Here's some. Probably need to find more. Another source. No! Did I ever go down here? I'm sure I did. I was probably disappointed by the lack of anything good. Hello. Wow, we're just one shot in these guys. So my impression is that even very small differences in the numbers can have very large effects. Kind of, like, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Um, so, like, if I have 10 damage and they have 7 defense, I'm doing 3. But if I raise my 10 damage up to 15 damage, even though I've only got, increased my damage by a third, I've increased my effective damage by, um, by, by what? By more than double. I, I think that's the kind of the effect we're seeing here. Where once you've crossed a line, you suddenly are doing a lot better. Similarly, if I can raise my defense stat, then I can shrug off many enemies' attacks. Who's attacking me? Wolves? How am I doing on Flintstone? Thirteen, that's enough. Because we were not one-shotting these guys a moment ago. We were three-shotting them. So we've gone from doing like 25 damage to doing like 80 damage. Which is a little silly. I mean, we did we did level up some stats, but it still feels a little silly to me. Anyway.
What am I just that? Oh, cause all my land probably. So I have to dismantle rather than slash at it. Okay, strengthen the flame. Flame level three. Then what do we get for that? Do we get more? We get like a free attribute point, right? Like we got we got one 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 across the board. Yeah, so we got now we're at two across the board. So one. That's nice. Let's see what this is about. Is that the hunter? No, that's the that's the trophy. Um at the workbench? The improved grappling hook. With the help of the carpenter. Gotcha. Not our problem yet. Alright, I think probably I'm going to stop here. We'll continue next time. Go for the carpenter, go for the farmer. Now that we have some more um, more damage and some more stats, um, hopefully that will be a bit easier. That area with all those all those bugs that we almost killed us. And we had our first combat death. That was a big deal. We died to a matron. It was surprising. <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Until next time.